Here we are in Lightroom 2 and I've loaded a photo here that you can see clearly needs some help. It's been overexposed. If you look at the histogram up here you can see that we've got a, a big area here which shows that the image has been quite overexposed. So we've got kind of faded highlights, um, it looks a bit washed out. Um, but the thing is the shot was taken in RAW so it's a lot easier to um, correct this than if I'd shot it in JPEG. So all we're going to do on this photo for now is work on the levels which is here in this uh, the histogram diagram here and also the curves using the S curve or using the curve um, tone curve here. Now I'm going to start by using the the levels using the histogram. Now it's slightly different to Photoshop. In Photoshop you would click here and maybe pull it over to the right to actually adjust it but you can see when I put the cursor over each section of the histogram it changes and tells you what it's working on so there we're working on the blacks there we're working on fill light here we're working on the exposure and at the far end we're working on recovery so first of all let's bring down the the contrast to get the the shot less washy looking so if I click on the blacks and just pull that to the left uh, you can see the the mountain range if you like is pulling slightly over and becoming more uniform and you can see the image is actually becoming a lot more contrasty. Now I'm quite happy with that to about there for now so I'm going to leave that. You can see already we've got quite a nice um, change there. If I go to and from you can see we've already got quite a good contrast added to that photo and it's nearly there. Um, but I'm going to now pull over the fill light just to bring a bit more no, I'm not sure if it needs it. The face is quite dark, but if I just make a tiny adjustment and add a bit of fill light, that's okay. I don't really need to use that too much. Let's go to the far end, and we're going to use the recovery. So if I now pull that to the right, you can see it should start darkening where it's overexposed. Let's have a look. You can see the changes there. So we're actually bringing it, pulling it to the left and it's it's recovering some of those blown highlights a little bit so it's not too bad so it's recovered just enough to add some detail in the background in those trees so we'll leave that there for now so really that's all we need to do for curves I'm just going to adjust the blacks again slightly by pulling that over to the left just to make it a bit darker to there so you can see we've already made quite a big impact on what was a washed out photo I'm just going to go to the curves now quickly and use the, the tone curve here you have a similar thing in Photoshop but this is slightly more accurate there's more you can actually do with it um, I'm actually going to just create a slight S curve if you click somewhere at the top of the curve here and you go up you can see you're, you're using the highlights you're adjusting all the highlights in the image so if you want a really contrasty image you can pull that right up and then go to the darks and the shadows and pull that down so it'll create a more of a contrasty image the great thing about Lightroom is you've actually got here you can adjust it by dragging this into the photo. If I click this element here, you see it brings up a new kind of um, cursor on the image and I can select any part of the photo and change just that tonal range. So if I select say the grass here, left click and then drag, you can see it's just changing all the elements within that tonal range and you can see the main model's not changing at all, it's just changing the background. Uh, I don't want to do it too much this way because it looks too washed out. I want to keep those bright colours there. So if we just keep it to about there, that's that's about right. I can also use it on the face, but I'm thinking that that's quite a. Uh, it's in the mid range, so it's going to affect quite a lot of the photo. Let's just change that. You can see there, if I'm using the face as a, a marker point, it's changing quite a lot of the photo. But you just drag up and down until you get to a point where you like what you've got, basically. Um, you can see there we've created a slight S curve and that's really what you should be looking at for a lot of your photos. It will create a um, slight increase in the highlights and slight decrease in the shadows or to increase the contrast. So just to have a play with those but really you should be able to by tweaking these few options get to a point where your photo looks a lot better. And if I revert this back, let's have a look, settings, reset, you can see there the original photo that's what we started off with and that's what we ended up with so let's go back to the original very washed out we've lost all the detail we've got quite wishy-washy looking photo and then just by adjusting the levels and curves you get to a shot that's got really nice contrast it's still fairly blown out but it's heavily backlit so we'd expect that kind of shot anyway but really I'm quite happy with that as a shot just by doing those 
very two simple quick and effective uh, tools in Lightroom 2 you can get a photo and recover it from what was a washed out image.